Okay, YouTube. Hi. Uh, you've watched the video on the uh, product overview for the Snug Pack Under Blanket. And uh, what I'm going to show you now is how it's set up in a stock manner. Now, uh, part of the problem with this is there are no step-by-step -step instructions from the manufacturer that says do this first, do this next, do this. Uh, what they've got is a, a drawing, a picture, showing the long side cords being tied off to the trees on either end. And nothing specific about the shorter ones, although there is a visual kind of suggestion that it's tied up at the end of the hammock. Uh, there are about you know, half a dozen or so videos out there on YouTube. You can look for them if you want to. Uh, stretching back all the way to about 2009. And it seems each one of them have a little bit of a different way of setting it up. Hardly any of them are using the method of going back to the trees. On the ones I saw, anyway. Uh, what seems to be the most popular is to tie the, uh, the shorter cords that come from the center of the under blanket at the end uh, to the end of the hammock and then take the longer ones from the side and tie them on the ridge line which is counterintuitive from the way we do it here in the states so anyway I, I set it up that way we'll show you that I slept in it that night well, actually I didn't sleep in it I, I went out and read for about an hour hour and a half in 44 degree temperatures uh, I was comfortable we were getting a few uh, cold spots, uh, and uh, if I would stayed in longer, they may have developed into uh, something and may not have. I, I just don't know. Uh, because by that time, I determined that there was a better way of setting it up. Uh, so let's go out right now and take a look at the uh, well, how they do it on the other side of the pond, and then we'll come in and talk a little bit about the modifications. Okay? All right. See you in a few minutes. Okay, well here it is. It's uh, I put this on a uh, Yukon double hammock. I bought a couple of these from my brother and his wife. I uh, put a hasty ridge line on it last night. Uh, I'm going to do a video on that here and uh, probably come out about the same time as this one does. Now believe it or not, this is the way that all of the YouTube videos recommend you put this under blanket on. Uh, if you go to the uh, website that shows the picture from uh, Snug Pack, they actually show these long uh, cords going to the tree that you hang from, which is uh, kind of difficult. But most of the others recommend tying those long cords up to the ridge line. I slept in this last night. I didn't sleep all night. I just came out for an hour, did some reading, uh, got some initial impressions on it. Uh, it performed okay, but the difficulty on it is uh, trying to center the under blanket on the hammock using the knots, tying, tying it on. It's very difficult to judge where the center is when you're tying one end and then going down to the other end and and trying to tie it. Uh, let's take a few other shots. Okay, so here what we've got is the, these two points right here are the center points, the two center pieces at the end of the under blanket. And all the recommendations are that you tie these to the end of your hammock. Okay. Uh, it works, but you can see there's a bit of a gap here it tends to fill out uh, when you do sleep in it but I'm still a little leery about uh, cold air intrusion on that okay so this is the the end of the channel with these bungees coming out here like this and as I said some of the pictures the drawings that come with this show it attaching out here like this. I do think that's a better way of doing it. But tying it to the tree is probably uh, not the best way to do that. And I think I've got a solution uh, that we'll show you here in a little bit. 
but a lot of the other YouTube videos from from over on the other side of the pond do show tying this up like so okay now this is the the center adjustment you get a double barreled cord lock here and you just mash on it and pull okay uh, it's good that you can do that from inside the hammock and it does tend to uh, pull things up and what I did last night to uh, make sure I was a little warmer is I ran that cord uh, through this loop here and then back through this other one and then just tied a slip knot here and that kinda made a gave me a peapot effect now there are a couple of other loops that you could probably do that with although they're not directly opposing each other okay so that's how they do it on the other side of the pond now what follows is a, a couple of minor little modifications uh, to kind of put this quilt in, in, in a more of a you know, American configuration if you will uh, I, I did this yesterday morning last night I, I slept in it for about two and a half hours uh, I was comfortable I was warm uh, I could have slept all night but the hammock I was in was uncomfortable for me so I got out of it and went to bed it was nothing to do with the underquilt it was the hammock and I'll tell you about that in another video so let's take a look at the modifications and then I, at the other end we'll set it up outside okay all right see you in a minute okay to do this project you're gonna to need to take some zing it got two 10 inch pieces and tie them into loops we're going to use those for pressing knots later you need two great big cord locks you need four of these little bitty cord locks you need four there you go. Miniature S beaners. Three cheap beaners, any size. A piece of scrap shock cord. A lighter. And a pair of scissors. Okay. Let's see what we're going to do with them. Okay, the first thing I did is I went back because I slept in it last night and used this adjustment method is I, I went and zeroed it out. I just uh, pulled the cords from the ends and made sure I didn't have any loop hanging out here. I want to have as much cord on either end as I can get. Okay? Okay, again, I want to get as much cord on the ends as I can. So here in the two center sections where Snug Pack has tied it off to these loops, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, pull it through like so until I got this little pigtail here and I'm going to tie that off with a knot. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cords in the center I'm going to pass them through this one in the corner next to where the side, side cord comes out and I'm going to put a cord lock on it. Okay, now that I've got those ends passed through the corners, I want to take the shock cord that's coming down the side. I'm going to put that, both, side, both of them, through one of those great big cord locks and tie a knot on the end. Then, Take one of my cheap beaters and clip it on there. Now we get outside, this is going to go to the end of the hammock. Okay? Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go to one side where the uh, factory installed cord lock is and we're going to tie a piece of shock cord right there to that loop and then tie a cheap beaner into it. Okay. All right. Let's take it outside and hang it up. Okay, so what I've done is I've hooked one of those cheap beaners through the cinch buckle at the end of my hammock. Now I'm not 
reach down I'm going to take the cord that comes from the side of the under blanket and I'm going to hook it onto that beaner and I'm going to mash the button pull it up tight Okay, can you see that? Okay, what we've got is we've got it adjusted to length now. Now we're going to take the cords that we passed through the corner loop and we're going to hook them, the S beaners, on the prussic knot that we installed on the ridge line. We want to pull it through so that the cord lock is to the outside of the S beaner. Then we adjust we pull on the shock cords so that we can pull the end of the under blanket up tight against the bottom of the hammock. Okay? Okay, and what we did here is we tied this piece of shock cord through this loop at the center of the under blanket. We tied a beaner to it and we're gonna when we get in we're gonna hook this together to kind of hold that under blanket around us Let's see what that looks like now it doesn't have to be tight but it'll hold that all together like that Pull the quilt up to cover your shoulder, and you're pretty much golden. Okay, well there you go. It's fairly simple modification. You don't need a sewing machine. All you need is a pair of scissors and a lighter and a few uh, cord locks. You can get it at uh, Walmart. Uh, this is a good, uh, I know it's good to, at, uh, at 44 degrees. Uh, I'm pretty much sure it's good down to about 30. Uh, unfortunately, the weather around here is not cooperating for any cold weather tests. I'm going camping next weekend, and I'm looking at 80 degrees during the day and 65 at night. I'm not taking any of this warm crap with me. Uh, we'll wait until January to do tests on both this and the uh, uh, V. Allen underquilt protector and the Franke sock that's coming out. Uh, but until then... Uh, uh, if you like this video, if, if you like this little underquilt thing here, go ahead and subscribe, because right now I've got a giveaway for Christmas, and I'll have another giveaway sometime in the middle of the year. This will be on it. Not because it's a bad underquilt, it's because I've already got a couple. So, subscribe, stay tuned, and we'll see you down the trail.